Hey guys, Meg Twin here. I wanted to show you how to make a backup of your project if you're not using source control. And um, here's how I do it. I go to Epic, Epic Launcher. Wait for that to open. Go to Unreal Engine, of course. And go to my library. And I'm using 426, so I'm going to launch 426. Wait for that to load up. Okay, shouldn't take too long. Alright, and I'm going to create a new project, which is a game third person because that's the type of project that I have a third person project and let's say uh, I have a project called AJ2 I think um, so I'm gonna call this uh, AJ backup I think I can have that uh, underscore in there yeah so I called a different name and wait for it to open when you do the backup you want to you know call it your obviously your project name and you can put uh, backup, BK, BAK, BCK, whatever you want to put. Just make sure you don't go over the 20 letter limit of the uh, title of your project. That'll give you issues. Waiting for that to uh, open up here and then I'll show you what to do once it does. I mean, I don't recommend this for your actual source uh, control <laughs> but it's a quick and easy way to uh, have your file on a backup if you don't want to use source control I have a little bit of trouble using it and I don't know why probably because I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing but uh, once the project opens I'm going to exit it and I'm gonna go into my projects folder and I named it AJ Backup. So I'm going to open it and I'm going to delete everything but the blue project file name. I'm going to delete that. Now I'm going to go to the project I want to back up. Now my AJP2 is my working project. So I'm going to copy everything from it except for the blue Unreal file. Hit copy. Go here, go back into your backup file, and paste it. And that's going to take a while because I got quite a bit in my project. But um, once you do that, you have a backup of your original file. It'll put everything in there. And when you open this, uh, backup file up you'll have the exact same thing you do in your original project I'm not gonna let this uh, I'm not gonna record while this finishes um, because that's actually the end of what I wanted to show you so that's all you do you wait until the uh, copying is done into your backup file and then after that you can open up your backup file and see that everything is the exact same as your original project. If you want to make several backups, um, I would suggest putting uh, backup one, backup two, backup three, you know, in the title. Just don't exceed the 20 letter limit um, because that will give you issues. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you and I hope that helps you out. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.